Hello, today comes uh, our channel page for AB Studio where me Katya I will use stamps and stencils. Uh, I have a watercolor paper from uh, Stratmore I think and I'm using watercolors from Prima. I'm having uh, I have wet my paper only a little bit uh, and now I start not painting regularly, I'm dabbing the uh, colors uh, on the paper so it fades out and I'm using the Prima watercolor set that is in pastels uh, because I want the pastel colors and I want it to be bright and uh, light, more pastely. And uh, I have, um, I'm not like drawing or, or doing, I will uh, simply add colors all over my um, paper. And this is so fun technique because it's uh, a freedom when you create because you don't know how it will turn out. But I'm sure if you try out this technique, it will turn out perfectly. Uh, and it's so uh, fun to like create randomly. And this page uh, will be totally flat. And that's uh, unusual for me. But so fun. And you also see uh, that I'm spraying a little bit all over the page. Uh, that's because I want it to blend. Uh, but I'm a little bit careful in the same time because if you blend too much or too close, it can only be like brown colors. You see on the edges, I use more uh, red and purple shades. Uh, more dark colors because I wanted to give it like a frame. So I don't really have a plan uh, except for the technique I will do. And I'm spraying carefully the water all over the page. And I find some spots uh, that are white, so I add a little bit of color and spraying water on it. On some places, and uh, if you have uh, too much color or, or like that, it's uh, you can use a baby wipe. But I'm happy with my colors, so I use my heating gun and to dry it up, and it needs to be dry. Now I have picked out some uh, stamps and here I start with the numbers, uh, the stamp number 78 and I have some Distress Ink stamps and you see I have in bright colors. So also here I'm stamping a bit randomly all over the page. I don't stamp so much on the edges and you can also see that I stamp many times near close by because I think that's give a gorgeous effect. Now I change to let a small letter stamps 79 and that's just adorable and I don't care uh, that it show perfectly. I like it when it comes a bit randomly. Next stamp set I have, it's number 57 and uh, it's like circles and uh, I like to have circles and round shapes. I think that's uh, give interest to a page. But I'm sorry to say in my process that it will not show so much. So I stamp with uh, randomly different stamps and colors that match. 
And here I have the mixed media set number six. Uh, there are a, a stamp in the set that are like small dots and that I stamp on the empty spaces and also all over where I've been stamping before. And the stamping is so fine uh, here that it doesn't show too much. And that's exactly how I want it. Now I will have a AB Studio stencil uh, number 14. It's a stencil with fine small dots. It's absolutely gorgeous and you can use it on many different projects. So usable. I have here a big jar of white gesso from Finabero Prima. And I open it and I'm picking out with my sponge and dabbing on the stencil. I really must dab uh, with yeah, pretty lot um, gesso because the dots are really small. But that's what I love with this stencil, that it gets uh, small, defined, uh, in dots and they are just amazing here and uh, the gesso it's heavy gesso and that's also good because if you have too fluid gesso it will uh, go under the stencil now i have stencil number 81 it's like big flowers and I try to use it like a frame all around it. So I use it and uh, I have only the part of it. Yeah, I could leave my page like that. It could be fun. But I go on and give it more framing here with the gesso. And I think uh, that's absolutely stunning already. When my page is dry, I will do some more stamping. I have a flower, stamp number one. And uh, here, uh, if I wasn't too lazy, I could have used my stamping platform. But I was a little bit lazy, so I'm stamping. I want to have two of these flowers and then I have like a small flower uh, from set number 55 and I only want one of them. And I'm happy with three flowers on this page. You have can done less or you can do more. That's up to you. Now I have a black pen and my stamps and pens, they are waterproof. And I do some randomly uh, lines here so my flowers will stand, stand on like a ground. Okay, now I have uh, a new, uh, here I think I have the classic set or one other watercolor set. Okay, and I have shoes, uh, more navy, dark uh, blue with some purple. And uh, yes, the watercolors again. And why I have shoot the watercolors? Because you could use the acrylic paint or something. I want it to show a little bit. You will see later what I mean. But I want it to be a little bit translucent. So it, uh, my stamping and my stencil will show. And here you can see I don't have uh, so much pigment in my watercolors here because I'm thinking the light on my page 
will come from the upper right side. Uh, so my page will be a little bit more uh, dark on the downside of the left side. So I use more pigment there to make like a shadow. Uh, it doesn't show too much, but I think it make a little bit to the page to think. I only have three items on the page, so that's not a problem. I'm a little bit careful to not use too much water. Uh, I'm not so afraid that it will be bland because I have a good watercolor paper. But look how amazing it starts to look because when you have watercolors and not too heavenly with uh, too much uh, layering with the watercolor, you can see my stenciling with the gesso underneath. And I think uh, it gives my three flowers that are my focal point, like a nice uh, texture in the background and give more interest to my page. So the dots and the flowers in the background, but you can also uh, see that the stamping also shows and all that gives more interest to the page. Oh yes, and if you have too much color someplace, you take a piece of uh, paper uh, or, or towel or uh, baby wipe and pick it off a little bit. So I give my background like a blue and a navy background and you can show the details and only watercolors but you can use any paints that you like. Now I will, I have a, a black and a white Posca pen. I start with the black one and I want to give my stamps a little bit more contrast to the background. So I'm drawing lines on my stamp to make them more intense. Um, Sometimes uh, it can be not so good. You try it and do what you like. If you don't like this step, it's perfectly okay. It's always your choice and uh, what you like. But I think the dark background needed to me go on on the stamp uh, one time. I also use the white Posca pen to add more details, some dots, and giving the stamping some dots inside and some details. Not too much. And uh, I also have a big brush pen and I'm doing only a few places uh, some shadowing. I was thinking it needs a little bit extra shadow uh, and the brown doesn't show too much. It only gives sh uh, like a shadow. Uh. And here I have a rose gold pen, I think it is. I also do some extra details here and there uh, because it's a little bit shiny and glittery and I think that's make the interest. And you see me, I start to do black framing and I wasn't really happy with the black framing. So you can find out. And here I have a white Posca pen and that's a really easy way to do some splatters with. And now you see, I'm more happy with the white framing. And 
now I will have some sentiments. I have some team hold sentiments and I'm picking out three sentiments uh, that I like. And uh, I'm happy that you watch and uh, let me know what you think. Please give the thumbs up and share, with, uh, share it with your friends. And remember, I read all your comments. Uh, sometimes uh, I don't write, but I do give the thumbs up and uh, push the heart so you know that I have read it. So if you have any questions, Feel free to ask them, but share some love. We are all happy for that. And now you see me ending up doing some small framing with the white Posca pen in the end. So I say happy holidays for you because right now I have some holiday time and I will do some more relaxing uh, art journal pages because I think this is one of the most relaxing thing you can do, some art journal page. So hope you enjoy it. It's almost uh, uh, like a galaxy in the background. So share some love and Nice to see you. Bye-bye.